Welcome. I'm VJ Jekin. Yesterday, I was talking to a friend of mine. We got into this discussion about, you know, um, he was wondering, you know, was asking for advice of how do we, how do we get talent and how do we find the right people through networking and so on. So, so I thought I'd do an episode on this topic: winning the talent war. Let's get started. What does winning the talent war even mean? Let's get to that first. I'm not talking about hiring people as quickly as possible. And I'm certainly not talking about hiring as many people as possible. And the most critical factor of a great entrepreneur is, is to the ability to find great talent, to hire great talent and, and build a team. Okay, let's define what great talent means real quick. It's what we call superstars. The candidate that has the high IQ as well as high EQ. There's no point hiring a smart person, but he or she doesn't get along with anybody. It's gonna, that's going to be a nightmare. And it's the one great engineer is worth 10 average engineers, I'm sure you've heard. And, and by the way, I, I, I'm going to keep saying engineer, but I mean employees. It's, it applies to product managers and designers and um, marketing folks, sales, whatever it is. So it's, it's, it's the quality that matters of the employee. And thinking in first principles, if you do this well, finding the great talent, so many things are easier down the line, right? That's that it, it solves so many issues that you're going to have a lot of baggage that you don't have to deal with if you find the great talent. And again, great talent, it's not just about great skills and great resume um, and so on. It's, it's, it's the whole package. You got to have high EQ. I keep saying this over and over when I talk to companies like that, that is such a critical point um, that's not emphasized. And you have to put EQ as important as the IQ, right? Arguably more, but you know, that's an argument we can have. So we know what a great, great talent is. Great things come, come in threes. So I'm going to cover this in three points. Number one, every time. Number one, be a talent magnet. Be the leader everyone wants to work for. Be the leader that you want to work for. There's no point to attract talent and they don't want to stay and they're not going to stay. So you've got to create create a culture that people are having fun. They respect each other. Um, and 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 you are you know very empathetic. You genuinely care about the employees, and you're doing everything you can to make them happy. Because if you make them happy, they will make you happy. It's almost guaranteed. Um, I think if you're selfless and taking care of your employees, it it pays back tenfolds. Right? I've seen this over and over and over again. So keep that in mind. That's that's number one. So be be that be the talent magnet, and and that and the words will spread. Talented people tend to attract other talented people because they are usually in their network. Have the great qualities like you have to have a vision, right? And you have to be able to articulate that vision. And and it's not just company vision, by the way. Uh, company vision, team vision, uh, project vision, everything. Just just uh, you have to that you have to exude that passion, right? Uh, passion begets passion. It's infectious. Number two, this is the most underutilized secret, in my opinion. Cultivate great talent. I, I, the, the number of people that surprised me when you coach them and when you, when you recognize their strengths, I'm, I'm always pleasantly surprised. If you spend time coaching and, mag, and magnifying the strengths, uh, identifying the weaknesses, and then co and working with them, creating a safe place for them to... Uh, fail, right? So there's one of some of the greatest engineers are introverts. You have to be able to provide that safe space and very friendly environment for them to just uh, for them to bloom, right? So this is one of the most underutilized. So so that's why I think great talents, great talent is everywhere. You may even have the team member in your team right now, but you just got to coach them because I think most leaders don't spend enough time coaching um, and and making them very successful. So third, be a great talent scout and look in the unlikely places, by the way. I'll talk about an example. Uh, quite recent in, in my career, uh, one of a candidate that came in and, and, and he applied for a senior software engineer when we were hiring uh, Java, Ruby. Um, so he, he, he was very persistent. He was like, hey, I know I'm not the typical candidate. Please give me a chance. I, I'm very passionate about getting into this and, and so on. So he has never been in 
a software engineer and he drives an Uber. I mean, that's what he's been, and he's a young guy. So it's a, 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 he's been doing Uber. So um, in every way, he's not qualified, right? So, but my manager came up to me and said, well, what do you, what do you think? Uh, I said, no, if you're, if you're, trust your instinct, go with it, bring him in, let's talk to him, right? And then uh, we talked to him and then my manager asked, asked me to talk to him as well. So I talked to him and then I, I detected what everybody else detected. Is there's something there, right? Um, and it's just instinct. It's a gut feeling that it, great attitude. And he seemed very sharp. Uh, let's take a chance. And we, we took a chance. A typical great engineer will take maybe, you know, it, it depends on the project, but like two to three months, one to one to three months to come up to speed. So yeah, and he took two to three months instead, right? So it's a one, one or two additional month, let's say. But boy, after that, he was, he became one of the best engineers we've hired. So, and the fact that most companies, like 95 plus, 95 plus percent of the companies pass on that kind of candidate is an advantage for me because those are the people that I'm looking for. It's, it's, it's it, because we're too obsessed with what's resume says. It's, it's very difficult to get any sense of information besides the very high level skill sets. That's it, right? So look in the unlikely places. To summarize, be a great talent magnet be the person that everyone wants to work for, be the person you want to work for, cultivate great talent, and lastly, be a great talent scout. Talents everywhere. On that note, keep daring. Love you all. Ciao.